Good day viewers. You are welcome to Zamani Cuisine. In fact, this is the first episode of Zamani Cuisine. We are here to present to you Salah Niswas. But before I start that, my name is Chef Ina. Chef Ina is an international chef. I'm here to do international cuisine, whereby we do different kinds of cuisine. Fusion, Nigerian, continental, yeah, Italian. We also do uh, American cuisine and a lot of different fusion which we mix together with Asian cuisine. I'm sure by the time you watch, you, you learn new things and you learn and you, 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 you become a great chef. Welcome to Zamani Cuisine. Before I continue, stay tuned, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Zamani Cuisine. This is Chef Fina, and I'm here to present to you the deli different delicacies and different wonderful cooking. Right now, we are going to start with Salad Nizos. Salad Nizos is a French cuisine, and it's a very special cuisine. The whole world knows about Salad Nizos. But here, the way we are going to present it will be unique in different forms because we are talented and we are creative. So make Salad Nizos. These are the ingredients we need. We have here the potato, we have the, the chickpeas, the green beans, the snow beans also we call it. We have the egg, we have the iceberg lettuce which is very tasty. We have the string beans, we have tomato, we have onion, we have tuna fish. These are all for garnish. The black, the black olive, the green olive, and also the French dressing as a sauce. We have also lemon to make it tasty. And we have this one as a olive olive uh, shine to make it shiny so it will be it will shine we also have the spices here which we use the white pepper we have also the salt and the black pepper they are all here you can see that's what we use for salad as well. Cooking time, this we are presenting Salad Niso. And as I earlier told you, it's French cuisine. It's a special cuisine for French. We're going to start with a uh, potato. I, potato, you can see the way it is. Instead of cutting it cube, I made it slices because we are creative here. We are creative chefs. We are thinking chefs. So this is slice instead of cube. We also added this also to give you some flavor. And this is to garnish, make it beautiful. That's why the snow piece is coming in. So we're going to start also cooking the string beans. Usually people cut it very small, but for me, I like it long because I'm a creative chef so that we, the eyes can see it and it be beautiful. I'm going to boil potato and then the string beans and also the chick piece, which we call the snow piece. So I take my pot from here. Pots. And I have my water here also. I'm using the water to boil, water and salt only. Yeah, need another one more pot. Now they will put the water on fire in a gas cooker. Next process is to light it. This is our lighter here. This one is here is our salt. I have to put the salt inside to make it tasty. This sliced potato, 
we're going to boil it straight. That's almost 25 minutes to 30 minutes to cook. Also, the, you have the chickpeas here, strong. It takes almost 30 minutes for this to cook. And this here, we have called it the string beans. Doesn't take any time to cook. 10 minutes, this one is cooked. That is the process of salad as well. Now that I put my potato, and my string beans and snow beans on fire. Let's go for a short break. I'll be back. Welcome back to Zamani Cuisine with me, Chef Hina. You are welcome. Now we are going to check what we put on fire cooking. So let's go together and check it and how far it has gone. As I earlier told you, this is chickpeas. They also call it snow peas. It doesn't cook quick. It takes 30 minutes to get it soft. And that's why it's still on fire. With the potato, it's also 25 minutes. It's already boiling. So very maybe 5-10 minutes I should, should be out of the fire. But uh, the string beans is cooked. You can see it. And that's where we're going to pick it from here. I hope you, the viewers can see it. Here is my strainer. I'm going to strain it. Okay, we strain it like this. We have perforated a strainer here. So the water goes down and the string beans remain on top. As I earlier told you, this is we are going to cook the egg also. Egg takes only 10 minutes to cook. So this is my water for boiling the egg. Water here. So I told you, egg does not take time to cook. 10 minutes is out. Okay, in the process is we don't boil egg in cold water. If you want the egg to be nicely peeled, you have to boil it with boiled water. So I have to wait for this water to get boiled before I put the eggs inside. But as I earlier told you, it's only 10 minutes. Viewers, we are going to wait for the water to boil while we put the egg later. So meanwhile, we take a short break. Welcome back to Zamani Cuisine. We're going back to cooking again. We're going now to go to check the potato and I believe it's cooked already. Uh, we're nicely cooked. It's cooked so we need to remove it and strain it just the way we strain the string beans. As we continue, this is the string beans, our uh, mise en place. So we're going to put it in this uh, beautiful platter here. Again, so we are straining the water out of the potato. Now. This is the potato here. And potatoes are missing plus again, we we'll put it by the side. Make sure the water is out of it completely. All right, it will get soaky. Beautiful. So let's go on. Go carry on with the egg. Egg, I told you earlier, is 10 minutes. So we're putting it straight in the water. The water is already boiling. And see me looking at my time so I can check the time properly. Because if it is more than 10 minutes, it becomes brown. It will not be yellow. But if it is 10 minutes or 12 minutes, the yolk will be yellow. And it's beautiful. So I have 5 minutes to, to our time. So 10 minutes time I will remove it. The chickpeas also cooked. So I'm going to remove the chickpeas and strain it. 
This is the chickpeas, snow peas. See how beautiful it is. It's for garnish to make the food presentation nice. So I'm going to strain it again as, as I do, did to the other vegetables. Make sure the whole water has gone down. And then, this, then I set it on a platter for use. So it's strained, properly strained. So again, I have to put it on a platter here. You can see how, the, how beautiful the colors are. So the lastly is the egg. So five, 10 minutes, 7 minutes time, the egg should be out. Before the egg is cooked, we'll be right back. Thank you. Welcome back to Zamani Cuisine. My name is Chefina. And as I earlier told you, the egg is on fire cooking. So we have to continue from cutting the vegetables to make, make sure we are ready. As you watch, we are going to start with the lettuce. Lettuce is nicely washed already. So we remove the stem is out. Some of the outer parts we also remove to make sure we get it very clean. You can see, now it's beautiful and clean. So all we need to do now is to cut. You can see the quality of the lettuce. This is iceberg lettuce, one of the best lettuce in the world. So the stem we still have to remove. I want to get it chunked. So you can see they are all chunked nicely. It's a big bowl for us to miss this one. And see how beautiful it is. It's crispy, crunchy, and beautiful. In the process of cutting the lettuce, I saw that my egg is ready. So I have to go pick my egg up. It's ready. So I have to pick them one by one. Again, I have to use the strainer. My egg is now properly cooked. So after you can see when I open it, nice yellow in color. So this next stage is to put ice. The ice gives you a very good condition of peeling so that the peeling will not be scattered. That's the, that's the purpose of the ice. So the viewers at home you can see. This is my ice here. So I'll break it inside. I also have my water here. The water now supports the, uh, the ice. So it will ease, make, make it easy for me to peel it. So I add my water. So at this stage now it will be cold. The whole egg will become cold. The ice and water makes it cold. Makes you, make it very unique peeling. Put it aside while I'm working on the vegetables. You can see my lettuce, let, iceberg lettuce as I just said. Beautiful lettuce, one of the best lettuce in the world. Now we're going to marinate it because in modern cuisine we have to make everything tasty. So in the process of marination, I have to wash my hand, make sure it's clean because of hygiene. Also because of hygiene, that's why we are wearing hand gloves in every cooking we are doing. This is lemon, lemon flavor, very very nice. We have to put some here to give it some taste. Not too much because lemon is usually very strong. I also have my olive oil here. Every basic cook in this world is uh, olive oil for healthy cooking. We don't use any other oil. It's virgin olive oil. In the process, I have to add some little. Then uh, white pepper also I'm going to bring to this place. I have my white pepper here. This is white pepper. I put some inside. The white pepper is for salad, basically for salad and chicken and fish. Then the salt, little salt, because we don't eat much salt. Little small of the salt we add to give it some taste. How we marinate it with my hand. I think it's nicely marinated. You can see. Then uh, apart from that, we have to go for the egg. 
the egg needs to be peeled so that everybody can see how we peel egg. You can see how it's peeling. But if you boil it without, with cold water, it will not peel like this. You can almost see the yellow yolk from here. See how clean he's peeling. No easy, easy life. But if you go the other way, it will not peel as fast as this. So yeah, everything in cooking is a process. Nice, clean. So we continue with the cutting. But we'll go for the tomato. So tomato usually they cut it in cubes. But for me, I'm going to cut in wedges because I'm creative, innovative. And we want to do new thing, not old thing, every time. Beautiful wages. You have to be conscious of your, your platter because if it's, the presentation is not nice, the food is not nice. If the presentation is of the food is nice, you will love to eat the food. So the tomato, we can see, is cut. This should be okay for four portions. This one is done. This is the tomato. Then we go for the onion. Onion are in two process. I'm going to use the onion also with the tuna fish. I need some ring onion ring for garnish first. You can see how beautiful the onion is. This should be okay for my garnish. Apart from that, I need some onion also to bind the tuna. I have to chop it fine, chop. Make it very fine. Perfect. This is my onion. It's nicely chopped, finely chopped. Set it in a bowl. Beautiful. This one also can be out of this place for now as garnish. So the next stage now is the tuna. We call this one tuna fish. Tuna is a special fish, an oily fish. Good, very good for cuisine and for health. But this oil I have to remove out, just strain it out. Because many people don't like oil. I remove the oily fish, remove the oil from the fish. You see it here, this is tuna. Now I'm going to bind the tuna together, make a mousse out of it. So watch me how I make a mousse out of tuna, tuna fish. So we make a mousse, as we're making a mousse we have to use a cream. This is a salad cream. Put a little of this, not much, because it, it doesn't have to be so creamy. And the chopped, chopped onion. Chopped onion also inside. Then I have my spoons everywhere here to bind them. So when we're doing it, we're going to put white pepper and salt. So add your white pepper inside a little so it will not be too strong. I have my salt here also. Small. Then you, you miss it. I have my mousse here. Nicely mixed. The next one now is presentation. Then we can make some garnishes to make sure it's beautiful and ready to eat. My mousse is ready. I, it's kept here. Now it's time for me to cut the egg to the shape that I love. This is the way I love to cut my egg wedges. It's a wedge, wedges cutter. Instead of me to cut it like this, I turn it this way, you can see. So it will be lengthy and beautiful. The eggs are cut nicely. I also have to marinate my salad.
ready to be displayed. Now, before we go on, we have to marinate this salad. So it will have taste. I cannot give them plain potato to eat without taste. So my bowl is here and I pick my potato. So one by one we do the potato first. Small lemon, small olive oil, with small chopped onion, it's good. And we have small salt and white pepper. All this to give it good taste. Potato is marinated, it's nice. And we also have to marinate the string beans. All right, it's tasteless. So with olive oil is there, white pepper is also coming as usual. And little salt. All these are nicely marinated. So when you are eating it, it's tasty and nice. French salad is a special salad. And basically go with little touch of salt. We don't need uh, any seasoning to make French salad. As you can watch, little touch of salt is what we use. No, nothing like a seasoning. This is the last one to be marinated. They call it the snow piece. You can see. Beautiful. Again, little lemon. Lemon is very healthy. Little, little of it, not much, because it's strong. And little touch of olive oil to give it some taste. And little white pepper. It's very small. They are all nicely marinated. Tasty and nice. Ready to be presented. Let's go on a short break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Zamani Cuisine. As you can see, we are doing salad nizwas, as I said. Salad nizwas is a special salad from France, and everybody needs to learn how to do salad nizwas. It's healthy, it's good. But now we are at the tail end presentation, which is very, very key and most important in our cooking. Because if the food is fine, you love to eat. If the food is ugly, you don't wish to eat. So you watch how we present salad nizwas. We start with carving of uh, small, small items like tomato. This is my tomato here. You can see. Watch how I carve it. Sharpen my knife. My knife has to be very sharp. Okay, let's go. Have to be careful and creative and just making a basket of tomato. This bag skirts will carry the snow piece with other garnishes. This will make it beautiful. The moment anybody sees this, say, wow, I love to eat this. From home you can do this. It's easy. You only need to practice. That's it. So let's keep carving. Have to unstuff it, remove everything from inside so we can stuff it with a snow piece. One is done as fast as, as fast as fast. Look at it, beautiful. We go for another one because we are setting for four plates, four platters. Third one is done. I only have to unstuff it. 
remove the tomato inside so you can have the handle look at it, how beautiful it is this is the last one beautiful the fourth one is done they are all done this is the fourth one the last one okay now the four baskets of tomato are ready and i'm going to display them for now on a platter and see the small platter here ready to be stuffed okay before i continue let's take a short break and i'll be right back again You're welcome back to Zamani Cuisine. As you can see, we still continue with the salad nizwas. And we are doing the presentation and the carving to make sure the food is nice and beautiful so that everyone at home will love it. This is my carving tool. Maybe if you don't have it, you can buy it. The carving tool is very important for us to make small, small decorations. I'm going to pick my cucumber from the fridge and also my garnishes. Let me put it at once from the fridge. All of them are my garnishes. I'm going to teach you how to make cucumber garnish for salad nizwas. So watch and see. This is a special tool we use for decoration. I have so many of them. You can see how fast I do it. it makes it beautiful and looks excellent and elegant and unique. You can see not many chefs can do this. So apart from cooking, we have to create. And this is the world that we are. So watch. You can see how beautiful they are. So this one here is my decoration. This will carry each basket on top. This is my world. And also I'm going to stuff this. Uh, we stuff this one nicely. Uh, the tomato, the cucumber basket, uh, the tomato basket and the cucumber garnish is ready. So watch how I stuff it. I have my chickpeas or snow peas, beautiful snow peas, which is ready, nicely cooked. So I, I have to, I stuff them one by one. One is stuffed and the fourth one. They are all stuffed. So now we have to display on a plate. So one by one, each of them we go on each plate. One on this plate, the second one on the next plate, and the third one also on the third plate. And lastly, the fourth one goes here on the last plate. You can see how beautiful it is. This is just the beginning. So the salad is here. Iceberg lettuce, as I said. Nicely marinated, tasty and nice. So, we go with the salad also. First plate, beautiful. Second plate, beautiful. And the third plate, which is a bit smaller, but the same again, we go the same thing. Repeat the same thing. Beautiful. And lastly, the fourth plate. Wow, wonderful. We have our tomato here. Tomato for the four plates. Nicely cut in wedges. Tomato, we are going on tomato. I want to by the side, just like a wings of a chicken. Wow, beautiful. You can see the tomato came out one way or the other way, like a wing, and this one is a basket. We also have the egg. The egg is sliced. You can see the color is coming out white, red, green. That's how we work. You can see yellow, you can see white, you can see green. Wow, we got it. So the next stage now is the string beans. This is string beans. You can see how lovely it's coming out. 
eat the same food I could throw on a plate and nobody will wish to eat it. I have to turn it so that everybody can see at home. Are you seeing? You can see how beautiful it's, it's turning out. All marinated, nicely tasty. You can see green, uh, orange color, white, beautiful color. They are coming out. We have potato, which is coming up now. It's the same salad people will make and nobody will want to eat. Beautiful. Make this for your husband at home. He say, wow, he will love you more. Nice. Tuna mousse is special. We have to maybe create it in a form that it will go on top of this. I have my spoons here. I need two spoons to do this. So these are my two spoons to scope them out. This is my tuna mousse. You see how I scope it? Scope them out nicely. This is the last one. So basically we're almost through. For the last part nice, I'm going to put a sauce on top. Because all this thing now there's no sauce on top. And the olive also I'm going to put as a garnish. The green and black olive. After I put the sauce, I'll garnish it with this and spray it a little and finish. So I have my sauce here. This is my greaseful paper for piping. So this greaseful paper, we use it for piping. So you hold it this way. You roll it. Roll it. You see? Very simple. So let's go there. This has been my sauce. I'm going to use this sauce. I have my turmeric also to make it a bit colorful. Turmeric gives it color and small aroma. And then add a little of this turmeric because it's uh, colorful and the aroma is very nice. I have my spoon here to mix it. I have to make this a bit tighter. I, I will stuff this with the, with the mayonnaise. See the color is now yellow and beautiful. Like egg. See how nice it is. Beautiful sauce. Everything is fine. Tasty and nice. An excellent work. Because we are cleaning. We need to take a short break and we'll be right back. time and we are still doing salad nizwas but these are the final stages garnishes making it more beautiful and more beautiful but lastly now we are going to put the olives this is black olive I'll pick it to, just to garnish again you can see black olive so one one of this is good you'll put one because the color not black comes on it
colors become more unique and more beautiful. I also have the green olive. This one is stuffed green olive, specially stuffed. This one I have to pick with a spoon or with a small object. So I have a small knife here which can pick it, one, one, one from inside. Okay, let's try four. But I'm going to cut this one into two because it's stuffed. If I cut it, I see that there's a color inside, beautiful color, which will make it more beautiful and unique. Can you see? The color is beautiful. Red, like a red or orange color inside. It's nice. So two, two on each. Beautiful. Nice, beautiful. So one goes on the tuna. Another one can throw on top nicely. Anyway, feel free. One on the tuna. The other one feel free to throw it. Lastly, tuna. They can throw this one. One on top. I also have small of this to give it a little aroma. Parsley is the name. Call it parsley. So I'm picking my parsley for garnish because the parsley have aroma. So the moment you near get close to the food, I see you have beautiful aroma from the parsley. So a pinch of it is okay, not much, one pinch. And the color also give it a good color. Finishing will be beautiful. This is the tail end of it. At least from far, somebody can see it and appreciate your food. We are on the last stage. I have small onion here. It's part of the recipe. So just all for garnish. See how creative it is. Onions can use two to no problem. You can see how nice the color is. Wow, wonderful. Lastly, we are going to use the spray. This one here make it shine. So anybody that sees it from far say, oh, I would love to eat this food. This is olive oil spray. You can see. It's for creative work and for top, top cuisine. Finish. So we are true with this. I'm sure from house, from every house, every family, you will love this. Every woman at home, you can learn from this. And when you do this, your husband will be wow, love you more. Meanwhile, I take a break. Welcome back to Zamani Cuisine. And uh, we're going with the salad. Now we want to make a fresh juice. Fresh juice goes with every food. It will make you to digest the food. People are tired of sugar these days. So people want to eat, drink from fresh juice. So as you wash, learn how to prepare fresh juice. Simple as ABCD. But we have different categories of fresh juice. For now, we are doing watermelon. And this is how we do it. We cut the watermelon, peel them, make sure everything is nicely peeled. I hope you're watching. We have to continue cutting the second one we need to cut, peel it clean, clean it up. Set them in a bowl in preparation for the juice. Sometimes you add ginger also. Sometimes you have different things. 
So, so this one have to be lifted up. You use this one to press the juice. So if all your watermelon, small, small, you pack them inside, depends on how much it can take. So the seeds will be extracted. That's the purpose of this machine. You can see we are, we, we are going to press it down. And the moment you press it now very fast, you get your juice, it will take, uh, extract the seeds and give you juice. So the machine is a special machine. This also use, we use this one to press it. Very fast. Your juice is ready. You can see how smart and how fast it is. You can see our watermelon juice is ready. See it's very clear, color, beautiful and good taste. Hold on, we'll be right back. Thank you very much. You are welcome back to Zamani Cuisine. Once more, my name is Chef Ina. We've done this great job with salad, Nizwas, which is French salad. Salad Nizwas is a special salad. Look at how beautiful and creative it is. Apart from that, we also gone to do a juice, a fresh juice for healthy people. This is watermelon fresh juice. And in conclusion, I want to say all these things are healthy food. They are healthy, they are for good health. Somebody who wants to live long have to eat well, eat good food. You cannot live without good food. You, with sickness, we catch you. If you eat good food, it takes the place of medicine. That's why we are trying to be creative so that people who are old or big people, rich people can eat good food in their home with their family. So from women to men, you have to learn how to make good food. In conclusion, I want to thank you because we started small and we are ending this way. You can see how everything worked. I hope you will join me next time as we are not going to stop here. Please join me next time in Zamani Cuisine. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>